What is this stuff, right? <laughs> everybody. I'm back. The health adventure here. My name is Ellery and I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on how my colon cleanse went. So um, I only did it for the one day. Um, also by the way, happy 4th of July everybody. I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday yesterday. So I did my colon cleanse uh, the day before 4th of July and uh, yeah, I wanted to just let you know like what happened and how I felt and um, you know if I'm gonna do it again. So so first of all um, I it took me a really really long time to actually finish the drink that I made mm. <laughs> It was like, you know a pretty good size It was two and a half to three cups of water with all this stuff mixed in it bentonite clay activated charcoal psyllium husk flaxseed um, I think that's it and then I used distilled water with it and it took me like five or six hours to finish the drink and it was just really hard for me because you know I try to really listen to my body and what my body wants so I drank some and then like I would you know get to the point where I'm just like okay I can't drink anymore and then I would drink a little bit more and then I would kind of pause and do some things so it just took me forever just to finish the drink and I know you're not supposed to um, eat or drink anything else within like two hours of drinking this. So, you know, I went a long time without eating that day. Um, so, you know, it did give me a really full feeling, so it's kind of deceptive. So if you're trying to lose weight, I guess it could work for something like that, but I'm certainly not trying to lose weight or anything. Um, I'm already very, you know, I'm at a healthy weight, I don't need to lose weight. So that's not something I was trying to do. Um, so for me, I didn't really feel like, I'm not sure if this is really the best colon cleanse for myself personally, um, just because like I was saying, I'm not trying to lose weight or anything like that. Um, and I, but I did eat enough calories that day, you know, I ate some, you know, hello, hi, welcome to my chat here. Um, yes, yeah, so no, I don't, I'm, right now I'm not eating um, any meat at the moment. Um, so yeah, so I was cleaning out my colon and, um, or trying to, and so what I did was, as kind of like a contrast, I, I decided I would eat um, watermelon afterwards because anytime I eat a lot of watermelon, um, it, it comes out, you know, pretty much the same as it comes in. So I, my stools literally look like watermelon with seeds in them. <laughs> so kind of, you know, sorry if that's TMI, but it does help kind of contrast to see, okay, what else is coming out of my system you know, as a result of doing this colon cleanse, it seemed to maybe create, I don't know if it either created mucus or if it pulled mucus out of me because my stools were a little bit more um, mucusy. Um, so I don't know, again, I, I would hope that that's pulling it out of my system, but you know, it's possible that it could have been creating that. Um, so that was something that I experienced. Um, I didn't experience any kind of like um, I don't know, constipation, at least I don't think so. You know, if I did, then the watermelon just kind of pushed it right out. Um, so that's really uh, helpful. Um, and then, but here's what happened. So I did, I had some, I had a reaction to something that day. I don't believe it was the colon cleanse because I had been drinking it for so many hours um, that I don't think that it would have caused, um, you know, if I would have noticed that it would have caused a problem within that amount of time that I was drinking it. So what happened was I had, um, an heirloom tomato and I put some spice on it. It was a 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's. Um, and I think I've had, so I've had heirloom tomatoes before and I haven't had um, like a negative reaction to heirloom tomatoes, at least that I've noticed. I know they are a nightshade vegetable, which can be sensitive to some people. Um, so I tried this with it as I, I smelled it from, so my boyfriend was eating like some rice and some avocado and some other things. And I was like, Ooh, like I, I smelled something really good. Right. So I was like, Oh, maybe I'll just use the spice he's using. So I put this on the tomato and I want to say like 10 or you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes later, um, my hands started really hurting. So I was like, okay, 
so something so something didn't work with me and I was like is it the tomato it's it must be the spice because I maybe I've had this spice before if I have it was while I was having a lot of problems with my hands so I'm and honestly I'm still recovering today um, that's how bad it was my hands were hurting really bad um, I, I was at the point where you know in, in the past when my hands were not functioning really well and just to explain a little bit um, what was happening my hands were like opening and closing kind of involuntarily and especially at night um, I would go to sleep and they would kind of want to just curl up or sometimes like maybe these fingers would just close up together um, just really weird things sometimes um, I would it would kind of like want to claw or something um, so very strange symptoms that I would have with my hands right um, so I noticed my hands were kind of wanting to close a little bit more together uh, it wasn't so it wasn't severe like it was in the past where I was having this problem all of the time um, but it was triggering that and I found myself you know when I had this problem I would I was kind of neglecting my teeth a little bit um, like I wasn't brushing my teeth as much because I didn't want to use my hands so much for just for doing little things like that where you know it would stress my hands so I still like I definitely I brushed my teeth I was like okay like even if it hurts a little bit I got to take care of my teeth because especially if I'm eating a lot of fruit it's important that I do that um, and yeah it's been getting better and better as I have not been eating any spice I haven't been eating a tomato and just in case just because it was a new thing for me with the colon cleanse it was something I hadn't done before I decided to just take a break from it um, I might do it again in the future, and I might also, instead of the flaxseed, I'll use slippery elm instead. I just got some of that. Um, but because that's a new herb for me, I don't want to have a reaction to that as well and then set myself back even further. So I want to at least let myself heal a little bit. I know that fruits are not going to cause a problem for me because they haven't done so before. Um, so that's what I really like about doing, you know, for me right now, this really high fruit. Um, really, I'm doing all fruit and then I do some like powders and things like that some spirulina or chlorella uh, just for some extra nutrients um, it's a good it's a good just canvas for me to figure out what foods are working for me and what are not um, so that's what's really been helpful so whether or not I stay on this kind of a diet for my whole life is dependent on my blood work you know that I get done in the future and whether and how I feel you know um, but as far as the colon cleanse is concerned there are definitely other ways you can um, colon cleanse and I'm looking into some of those um, for for one you can always do like a water fast and um, that's something that's been recommended to me um, also juice fasting is another way to clean the colon um, so this is not the, the way that I tried the other day is not the only way to do it it's just one way to do it and it might work better for one person than it does for another um, so I might try like a, a apple juice or something like that I have um, I did start out when I started doing the raw vegan diet. I did a couple of days where I did some more juicing, and I did find uh, that it created a little bit more, I would say, detox symptoms. You know, I had like headaches and things like that. Um, so it was a little bit intense for me at the beginning. Um, so it may be for me that the best thing to do is just to eat pretty much, you know, fruit in its whole natural form because it's got, you know, some fiber. It's not going to be too intense. It's not going to create too many detox symptoms where. I'm not going to feel like continuing. Um, so that's just what I've found for me so far. Um, but I am open to trying some of those things. And again, I'm definitely, if I do it, I'm going to share it with you guys and let you know how it works for me or how it doesn't work for me and what I think um, is the next best thing for me to do. Um, so, and it was it just as a, as a whole, you know, uh, wrap up from the experience of this colon cleanse. Overall, it really wasn't bad, um, even though... Um, it, it didn't really taste that great and it did take me so so long to do it um, like I said I don't think it was the thing that caused um, problems for me I did want to mention you so this seasoning here which I think is ca caused the problems with my hands um, since I had it later that day that's when I had the reaction it doesn't say non irradiated on it and I have noticed um, that other spices from Trader Joe's do say that um, this is a little bit old. This is one I think I got a little bit um, like a while ago. So I don't know if they just don't label that anymore. Uh, but this is non irradiated. So that could be a factor as well. The fact that whatever those spices are could have been um, irradiated. So ex uh, exposed to radiation. Um, and I don't know why they do that, if that's part of their drying process or what that is. 
but that's something else that could have triggered me. Um, there's also, there's citric acid in here, there's some carrots, and I think as I've told you guys before, I've eaten carrots and that's caused some reactions to my hands, but I, I thought that just having a small, small amount of this would have been okay for me, but apparently not. It did cause a very severe reaction for me, considering how little I used. Um, but as far as the colon cleanse is, is concerned, I'm just kind of assuming that it didn't cause the problem. And, and overall, um, you know, I, d I, would, I would do it again. Um, you know, I just want to give myself a little bit of a break and just um, heal a little bit more before I try it again. Um, but I do think overall it's, it's an okay cleanse to do. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to follow me and, you know, just keep on getting updates on what I'm doing with my health and see how things are going, um, you can give me a follow. And I'm going to start a blog soon. I've been talking about that for a little while. I uh, just need to get that going and I'll give you guys a link as soon as that's ready to go. So again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ellery and I am the Health Adventure. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. It's kind of like a, like a jello. Yeah. Mm.